Take a look at the data captured by One Health facility. The first record shows the daily temperature monitoring data for the facility's refrigerator. The second is a repair and maintenance record for the refrigerator. Do you know how to interpret these records? Could you use them to determine whether the facility's refrigerator may need repair or maintenance? By looking at the data collected on the cold chain equipment at a facility or district store, you can often tell whether equipment is working as it should be, whether it is in need of repair or maintenance, or whether new equipment is needed for some reason. The ability to analyze cold chain equipment data is a good skill to have since well-functioning cold chain equipment is essential to keeping vaccines at the right temperature and available for people who come for vaccinations. When vaccines are not kept at the right temperature, they can lose their potency, which may lead to a stockout and fewer vaccination sessions if vaccines have to be discarded. So, knowing how to identify problems with your cold chain equipment can improve vaccine quality or may even help improve immunization coverage rates. Let us start by looking again at the example we saw earlier. This is the temperature monitoring data for a facility refrigerator. The refrigerator temperature should be between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Assuming this data was recorded correctly, what percent of the month was this refrigerator functioning properly? Almost 100%, more than 90%, or approximately 80%. The temperature chart shows that the refrigerator was out of acceptable temperature range on six of the past 29 days. Temperature alarms were also recorded on the same days. If the information is accurate, it means the refrigerator was functioning properly on 23 of the past 29 days, or about 80% of the time. Do you think there is a problem with this refrigerator? There may be. Six alarms is a high number for a single month. Let us take a look at the repair and maintenance record to find out more. If this is April, how long has it been since this refrigerator received any preventative maintenance service? One month, two months, or three months? It has been three months, which is too long between preventative maintenance, especially in tropical countries with a high degree of humidity. Refrigerators require ongoing preventative maintenance to function properly. They should be defrosted at least every month. By looking at the data, we just learned that this facility's vaccines are frequently being exposed to high or low temperatures, perhaps because the refrigerator is not being defrosted frequently enough. You would need to investigate further to understand the root cause of the problem. For example, Health facility staff may need training and instructions on when and how to defrost the refrigerator or how to clean solar panels. There may be confusion around who is supposed to do monthly maintenance. There may be frequent staff turnover and therefore a need for visual job aids or more frequent supervision. Data can help you identify a potential problem. But to understand the root causes of the problem, you will need to investigate and observe. This is just one example of how data can help you identify potential problems with cold chain equipment. Let us look at another example. Imagine you're preparing your district for a measles vaccination campaign. With an important additional vaccine stock coming in, you must make sure you have adequate storage space at the district store and at 12 health facilities. You will need information about the status of cold chain equipment and storage capacity in each location. Which resource do you think would help you track the locations, status, and storage capacity of cold chain equipment in your district? 
a cold chain equipment inventory, a repair and maintenance record, or a spare parts record. An equipment inventory lists key information about existing cold chain equipment as well as details about the facility. Let us take a close look at this inventory and see how this resource would help you plan for the upcoming MMR campaign. The inventory includes a line for each device, clearly identifying the type of equipment. It shows you whether a refrigerator is in good working condition. And it should show you how much space is available in refrigerators for the MMR vaccine stock. There are other ways that cold chain equipment data can be useful. For example, this data can help you identify and avoid defective inefficient models, track and control spare parts, estimate spare part consumption for ordering, assess performance or cost effectiveness of vendors, and customize training materials. Keep looking at your cold chain equipment data and encourage others to track and monitor this data as well. You will find that it can help you identify problems and make larger long-term decisions.